The beauty of Wakatobi National Park, a paradise for divers and sea lovers. Wakatobi National Park is not only visited by local tourists, but also by foreign travelers who like diving and enjoying the underwater beauty. Of course, this doesn't come as a surprise, considering that Wakatobi National Park or Wakatobi Island is known to have truly stunning underwater wealth. For those of you who have never been to Wakatobi National Park and want to know more about this beautiful island, let's look at the history and the islands there. Uncovering the beauty of Wakatobi National Park Wakatobi's long journey to become a national park began in 1989. At that time, Wakatobi was still a marine conservation area through surveys conducted by the Directorate General of Forestry and Nature Conservation in collaboration with the Worldwide Fund for Nature WWF Indonesia. The survey results show that Wakatobi has abundant marine resources, including various types of coral reefs, fish and a diversity of habitats that produce stunning marine panoramas. Furthermore, the Wakatobi Islands finally changed their name to Wakatobi National Park through a decree of the Minister of Forestry in July 1996. After that, this tourist attraction was inaugurated through decree of the Minister of Forestry No. 7651 KPTS 2 2002 on August 9, 2002 which also explained that the area Wakatobi National Park is 1,390,000 hectares. Of course, there are various reasons and processes why a natural resource or conservation area, whether on land or at sea, can become a national park. For Wakatobi National Park itself, one of the strong reasons is because it is located in the Coral Triangle. Did you know that imagine you go to a painting museum in the middle of the city and inside you can find around 76% of the paintings from the best artists in the world, of course you want to linger in the museum, right Wakatobi National Park is one of the artists who contributed to this beautiful painting. Coral Triangle or Coral Triangle itself is a term that refers to an area of 6 million kilometers that passes through Malaysia, Indonesia with Wakatobi National Park, Solomon Islands to Timor Leste. Not only is it a tourist spot, but scientists from all over the world have also made Wakatobi a learning place for the newest coral reef species which of course continue to evolve. The Coral Triangle is so special that former Indonesian President Susilo Bambang Yudhoyono created Coral Triangle Day, which falls on June 9, which is a special day to invite people to care about the coral reef ecosystem. Get to know the four big islands in Wakatobi. Even though it is known for its marine tourism, Wakatobi National Park also provides unforgettable experiences on its four islands especially those related to the cultural traditions of the friendly residents, starting from releasing baby turtles into the open sea, white sand beaches, to traditional forts and historical heritage, here are some of the beauties of Wakatobi, Wanji Wanji Island is the first gateway to the beauty of Wakatobi National Park. The journey to explore Wakatobi National Park starts from here. Commercial flights to and from Mataora Airport on this island are the right opening gate to treat you to the beauty of Wakatobi. Some of the activities that can welcome you to this national park are watching the sunrise while enjoying the view of dolphins swimming and jumping around your boat. Can you imagine how beautiful it is don't worry, you can rent a boat at Sambu or Mola Harbor and they will immediately take you to Tanjung Kapoda to see its marine attractions. As a bonus, you can see the attractions of local fishermen and dolphins. If you are satisfied with the sea attractions, you can visit the Liatogo traditional village which is located 15 km from the center of the island. In this village, you can admire wooden houses and also traditions handed down from the Laya Kingdom era, including old forts. Kaldupa Island you can feel the tranquility. In contrast to Wanji Wanji Island, Kaldupa Island, which is surrounded by mangrove forests and coconut trees, offers a more peaceful and calm atmosphere compared to other islands, especially those close to Haga Island, 
which is Operation Wallace's Research and Data Processing Center. Crystal clear sea water, white sand, swaying coconut trees and the melodious sound of the waves make this island the perfect place for you to relax. Tomia Island, a diver's paradise. The third island, namely Tomia Island, has been famous as a diving site for the past 10 years. This island has more than 40 dive sites that have been named and mapped, making it a hot topic of conversation internationally. One of the coral reefs on Tomia Island that is both challenging and beautiful, the Roma Coral Reef, is often the target of veteran divers. The name of this coral reef is inspired by one of the largest cities in Italy. Binanco Island is also called Blacksmith Island. Binanco Island is the furthest island in the Wakatobi Archipelago. However, that doesn't mean that Binanco Island offers an ordinary experience. Once again, when you visit this island, you will be greeted by young women dancing to strong ambus music. On this island, apart from finding skilled blacksmiths, you can also learn how iron is shaped and sharpened using traditional techniques passed down from generation to generation. In fact, the knives and machetes produced on Binanko Island are considered to be one of the best in Indonesia. Exciting Activities in Wakatobi National Park After getting to know more about the history and islands in Wakatobi National Park, now is the time for you to see what exciting activities you can do there. Here are some of the excitement you can experience if you visit Wakatobi National Park. 1. Dive and enjoy the underwater beauty of Wakatobi National Park Around 750 of the 850 species of coral in the world exist in the waters of Wakatobi National Park. So it is not surprising that many divers flock to come there. This is also the reason why this national park is often referred to as a paradise for divers. 2. Sea Dolphins on Capota Island On Capota Island, you can see dolphins jumping from the water. From Wanji Wanji Island, you only need to travel about 15 minutes to reach Capota Island. Please note, the best time to see dolphins in the waters of Wakatobi National Park is from 6 to 7.30 m. 3. Get to know the Bajo Tribe Community the Bajo tribe is one of the most famous tribes in the world. On Wakatobi Island, you can get to know and interact directly with them, precisely in Bajo Mola village. Different from villages in general, Bajo Mola village has a terrace in the form of a wide expanse of blue sea. Apart from that, you can also explore the lives of the Bajo tribe who are experts in diving and reading constellations. 4. Watch the sunset at Simara Beach. Before closing your day by resting, don't miss the opportunity to watch the sunset at Simara Beach. This beach directly faces the beautiful Bundasi. Please note, Simara Beach is located on JL Waha, Sambu Village, Wanji Wanji District, Wakatobi Regency. The location is quite close to the main road, only about 100 meters. 5. Try Typical Wakatobi Culinary Delights The beauty of Wakatobi National Park does not only lie in its nature. There are still many other attractions of this national park that you can enjoy, one of which is Culinary Delights. Wakatobi National Park has a unique tumpan culinary dish made from cassava, namely kajuamai. Usually, Local people eat casuamai with Colorado Colorado chili sauce and grilled fish.